Do you ever feel like the lines you're writing or improvising are kind of predictable and they seem to always start the same way? Well, if that's the case, stick around because in this video, I'm going to show you a few simple ways to really spice up the way you start your lines and licks. What we're talking about here is more often than not, players will start a lick or a line right on beat one of the bar. So let me demonstrate what I mean. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Etc. Now, quite often, that is the right thing to do, but there are times where you might want to pick that line up in a much more interesting way. For example, intros, the start to a solo, and things like that. Let me give you a few examples. One, two. A one, two, three. A one, two. A one, two, three, four. Essentially what I'm doing is preempting my line or creating a kind of introduction to the line I'm about to play. And I'm choosing not to just come in on beat one of the bar. What I mean is one, two, three, four, start your line, okay? I'm choosing to come slightly earlier than that. Something like one, two, start your line, bang. And that's the one, that bang, okay? Now what I have done is I've written a bunch of examples of these kind of preemptive um, lead-ins for you to download and check out for yourself. So if you click on the link on the screen now, it's also going to be in the description below the video. You can download a free PDF and it contains a whole bunch of examples that you can try out for yourself in minor keys and major keys and different modes, etc. And hopefully that will get you on the road to creating your own preemptive lines. If you've never done this before, you can be quite methodical and mathematical about your approach and that's cool and then you'll start to hear those ideas more naturally and musically. Let's just decide we're gonna come in on beat three of the bar that's preempting the line we're gonna play. Let's assume you've already got a lick or a line that you know well, where you'd normally come in on the one. Here's an example. One, two, three, four, one. This time we're gonna create a lead into that line starting on beat three of the bar before we start, okay? Let me show you what I mean. A one, two, three. Okay, so we come in there and add something and then play our line. So one, two, three. Next, we need to find some notes that are going to fit with the line that I just played. Now, that was a minor pentatonic sort of thing. So we shouldn't go too far wrong if we choose some notes from that scale. Let's be random, let's choose that note and that note. One, two, three, uh. So we've got one and, we've got that long to add those notes. So let's play them like that. Starting on beat three. So we're gonna add that before we play this. Let's give it a go. One, two, three. Now, to my ears, that worked really well. It was a good lead-in. Let's try the same exercise and reverse the order we played those two notes in. Here we go. A one, two. To my ears, it worked equally as well. Let's take those same two notes and move them down an octave. So we'll play them in the order we just did. So instead of here, we're going to play them here. So the way I think of that is a it, we're in a D minor kind of vibe. That's a flat seven and a fifth underneath. Or it's a C and an A, depending on the way you look at things. Sounds like this. One, two, three. And let's try the other way. We're, we're going to play the A, then the C. One, two. I kind of like that because it could do a slide from the C the D. Sounds cool. 
And it's as simple as that. And just before you go, let me show you how that works over a major field. Don't forget you can download the PDF. The link is in the description below. And there are a bunch more examples of this kind of thing. Hopefully you know the major scale. If not, it looks like this. And that was rooted on a D, so that's a D major scale. Here's an example of a line that starts on beat one, two, three, four. And again. This time I'm going to preempt it starting on beat two. I've just decided to do that from the bar before. So that's going to come here. One, two. That's where I start my line. So that gives us more notes we have to fill in or can fill in before beat one. I've decided I'm going to play eighth notes, which is like this. One and two and three and four and bam, 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 bam. To speed things along, I'm just going to improvise a couple of examples. Check this out. One more time. Here's the line without a lead in. One, two, three, four. And again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's it. Now, I could spend time here giving you more and more examples, but you're probably better served downloading the PDF. It's in the description below. should be on the screen there in the cards thingy. And there are a ton more examples. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thanks so much for your support. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers.